and that's it. Okay, so now I want to zoom out a little bit and zoom in a little bit. So I grab the magnifying glass. Let's do that again. Um, let's see, it was at 100. I click over here, it's at 100%. Just so y'all can see. Um, then I went to my magnifying glass right here, clicked on it. Actually, no, I went down. <laughs> Sorry, went down to 50%. Then click the magnifying glass. And then I selected the area I'm actually going to work with. So I can see it all in one screen. That way it won't be too big and I won't, you know, have a better understanding of what's going on. Um, so now what we're going to start off with, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and just select the, air, the, the frames and the images and the layers I like to use that I want to use right now. So uh, this, is a, this is just a dummy one, but we're going to see what all we can do with it. Excuse me. Um, let's see. I want to leave my background there, so this is my background right here. This layer is useless. I can either delete it or leave it there, or just delete it. I don't want to get confused. And then you can double click to rename your layers. It won't affect the PSD at all. So you just double click, and I name that my background. So here's my background. This is on layer one. Everything, all the stuff, always talking about layer one. It's up to you to put it to the other layers. So I start with layer one. Now I'm gonna say it's possible that my layers or my flash might go all the way to layer 100. Now what I do is I click on layer 100, and then I right click, and and I click on insert keyframe. Now that just gives me a full layer at 100. So if you go right here and you click anywhere on here, the background is still there still there. I don't want to move nothing. It just remains still. So as long as you see this gray gray bar for any layer, that just means that it's, it's remaining there. It's, stay, it's a still image. So now I go back to my tools and I click my selection tool. Um, then I right click to get out of the, the background layer. So what I want to do is go back to frame one. I got to figure out what I want to see first. So I'm going to say, I believe my background there, but I'm a, I don't want to, I want to see, I want to see Mr. Fifth Ave first, after my background. So we find him, which is his image right here, and he's selected. So what we do, we leave him right there, but I don't want to see anything else. I just want to see him as soon as the, the thing, the flash banner starts. So what I do is I go right here, and I select I click and hold. So you click and hold. Don't click on what's already selected. You, like, if you want to click on that specific one, ignore that. If you click on that specific one, um, to start off, if I want to start off right here, but it's already selected, I'm not gonna click it again because it's only gonna move my layer. So if I, like, so for example, if I go like this, you see it's moving my layer, and I don't want it to do that. It's moving my keyframe. So I click away from it, and then I come back to it. So I click on this once, and then I hold. It up to here, so now all three is selected, and this is for um, this right here, the hood music entertainment orange box with the with the words. Click on that, and then I move it because I want to see my guy show up first. I don't want to see that, so I'll, that's gonna show up later. So I move it, selected. It. He's already selected. Go back, selected already. I'm not, I let go of the mouse, and then I come back and select it again. So I hold, click on it. Hold it till I move it. I want to move it to frame 10, so I move it to frame 10. See now, frame 10. Now the only thing I'm showing is the background and this orange box right here. So once again, because I want to see only the man or Mr. Fifth, I go and select all these. It's like, it's like everything but Mr. Fifth, and I move them up to frame 10. So now frame 10 is just these right here. This is all that's happening at frame 10. Where's Mr. Fifth not there because we haven't put him in there yet. So back to frame one, now this is the only thing that's showing, is going to be the background and Mr. Fit. So I come up here and I want to give him a motion tween. Motion tween is just basically where you just create your image, or you have your image created, and it's in your flash, and you use that image to give it some kind of animation, whether it be just um, coming into the screen, or it could just be flying in any kind of animation you could think of this is what you do you use, use motion tween to get it done so now I click on this again because that's what I, I want to work on so I want him to 
Let's see, I want him to come to the side. Come from the side. So I'm gonna choose frame five, and I just click on, I click on it, and then I right click to do insert keyframe. Okay. Now you see it's the gray part. Like I said, it's, it's a still image. Now that's moving. So now I want him to move. So in this frame five is where I want him to be to remain at this state that he's in right now. So what I do is I go in the middle of this gray frame from this keyframe to this keyframe. That just means that it's where the motion tree is gonna be. So I click on here and then I right click and I end and I click on create motion tween. Now you see this blue looking arrow that shows that that's my motion tween. That's where I want that's where I'm gonna have some animation show up. So now since I want him coming from the side, I'm I want him coming from the left side. So I will click it is it's already selected, so this is where it starts off at. So I will click on that and then I can either use my mouse or use my arrow keys on my keyboard to move him. Now I like using my arrow keys because they keep my my, my images together. They keep if I use it my mouse, you know, my, I might just move it and it might be like this, you know what I mean? So I don't wanna risk that. Even though it does keep it together, but I don't wanna risk that. So to clear that whatever I just did, I don't know what I just did. I'm gonna clear that out. I hit control Z to go back. See? And I moved it a little bit without even knowing. So I just click on this and I move with my arrow keys. I move all the way to the left. Move all the way to the left, move out of flash banner that's where he's gonna start because he's gonna come in from the left so we want him to come in from the left so what we do to see see play without actually publishing anything is we just select enter for I don't know what it is how it is for Mac computers but for Windows just select enter and you'll see him coming from the left see now I hit escape to stop it you hit enter again and escape to stop it. Now you see it's fast. That's not how fast I want it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select on anyone on this outside of the box and I see my keyframe. My frame is per second. And then I could move down to ten or just test it out to see how which how fast you like it looking like. Um and if I don't do that if I want him slower without actually moving the frames per second, I can just move this to the next five frames. So it moves to frame 10. So that would mean I would have to actually move these to frames over. Just because I'm not ready for those to pop up yet. Alright. And then here he come again. I'm going to show him again. And he comes in slower. Now that's 